Hi everyone, this is Yukti Belwal and I'm really very excited to share with you this interview that I did at Avitiha Aachen University. As you know, recently I was in Germany and I'm really reviewing greatest universities of Germany. And soon you're gonna see content about German university and the admission process in not just medical but technical and management courses of Germany. So I was at this campus of Aachen University. Avitiha is one of the renowned university of Germany. It's the largest technical university of Germany. This university is 153 years old and and it is serving more than 50000 students in more than 144 study programs i don't know whether you know or not but this university is ranked number 5 in germany number 106 at qs university ranking and number 90th at times higher education it's well known for its research projects while i was at this university i met these two students of this university and i was lucky enough to get their time to take the interview if you were looking for the technical university in germany then you must watch this interview till the end they have given some amazing insights of germany its admission process visa process accommodation and a lot more so enjoy this video thank you so much so hi everyone this is yukti belwal and today i am in germany and uh, as he said avitiha yeah avitiha right? that's how we pronounce this university it's in aachen it's a very good city in germany and right now we are interviewing two students of uh, this university and i would like to thank to them to take out this time and uh, please introduce yourself and tell to my viewers uh hello all i'm rahul ryan savio i hail from mumbai india and i'm studying kami which is computer aided conception and production in mechanical engineering okay i am rahul as well my name is rahul venkat raman i'm from bangalore karnataka and i'm in the same course as him computer aided mechanical engineering otherwise known as kami Hmm. You really nicely introduced that you know why did you choose Germany and uh, you have already spent how many years months here? Oh, this would be my fourth, third day in Germany actually. Third day in Germany, <laughs> yeah. nice. And you have been two weeks. Two weeks. So you are just starting it. Yes. yes. Okay, okay. So tell me, how did you understand about I don't know whether you will be a big you know about the campus? A little bit, yeah. Yeah, tell me. So this is Hopke Border. This okay. is the oldest building in Avatar. Mm. So it's one fifty years old. Mm. There's a lot of uh, historical meaning to this building. Okay. So which I'm not that familiar of, uh. but I know there is a historical meaning. The okay. cover which is put here is for conservation of the structure. Oh. So uh, here is where they celebrated the one fifty years as well of uh, Avatar yeah. recently mm. that happened. Mm. And this is where all the main lectures take place. Yeah. Okay. That's pretty much what I know about this okay. building. Okay. Where do you have your classes? We have it in this building sometimes. Otherwise, we have it in other buildings around the city. Actually, mm. right now our first class was in uh, Karl Marx. That mm. is a center of academic research and learning. That's mm. like a, called an Audi Max of this college. Mm. Audi Max it means it's a lecture hall which can accompany a lot of people oh, for one Audi lecture. Oh, Audi Max. Yeah. Okay. So there Maximum was a maximum audience. Yeah, the previous director of Everteha actually wanted to. That was his project. His. Uh, Uh, what do you call that uh, vision dream of uh, vision, dream yeah. of? Mm. So when he was the director, his vision was to open another Audi Max, which mm. could I think accompany two thousand more than two thousand people in one lecture hall. So that is Carl. Mm. Adjacent to that would be the original Audi Max, which was there before. Mm. So yeah, this would be the brief about it. Okay. Maybe if you want to know more, you can ask something. Okay, okay. Let's walk a bit. So how was? Uh, How was about uh, putting the visa and everything for you guys? It was easy or no, difficult? No, it was the worst this year. <laughs> it was the worst for everyone who was applying for Germany yeah. because we had an additional process called APS that mm. is basically verification of all your education as mm. well as uh, GRE and mm. IELTS stuff. Mm. Uh, they stated in the month of November that mm. it will only take four weeks. Yeah, but. For I believe many it took six months to seven months. For my case, it was six months, mm. and after which we had to apply for VFS, in which they also created some hassle for many people, in which they created two weeks delay for the APS yeah. uh, verification. I would say mm. from their side, mm. after which visa itself, uh, for most it it should take like according to them it should take ninety days, mm. uh, but. It differs from uh, the city to city where you are registering. Mm. So for Mumbai, they said it was thirty days, but mm. it took me forty-five days and above. Mm. Everyone, I believe, this year has faced, gone through some form of trouble or the other, right. just to get into Germany. Not for the application of getting into the college, but just to get into Germany, the visa procedure. Mm. Otherwise, it was fine. Everyone is, I, I believe, 
the city that we are living in is the most friendliest city yeah. because we are in the west side of uh, Germany and if you are aware of the history west is rather much more developed than the east and mm. they are more ready to tolerant and acceptable accepting more people yeah. this looks very modern very yeah. nice so it also contains our immigration office basically hmm. so in Aachen hmm. the immigration office is centered in super city okay yeah. So for a visa extension. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. Residence permit can be got from there. So question Rahul, Rahul, both of you. Okay. Question from you about how like are Germans rude people? Definitely not. Definitely not. not. No. Mm -hmm. I have uh, with this two or three months of three days of time that I've been mm. here, I've actually interacted with a couple of Germans in shops mm. and other cafes and restaurants. Mm. And they were, the hospitality cannot be better. Mm. Than them. So there's always this uh, uh, rumor that ah, Germans rumor. are always yes. Uh, yes. uptight and yeah. they don't laugh at comedy. Mm. That's completely opposite. I feel they are more uh, joyful in life than us. Very nice. And Very they're nice. always. Uh, outspoken they don't have any like if there is a communication that is to be said mm. uh, they tell it to us assertively mm. and we as Indians we don't like to take assertive communication to mm. us we like it to be sugar coated and that's oh. why we think Germans are rude and we are not rude <laughs> so you are actually a... saying all truths facts <laughs> yeah. yeah but yeah otherwise the weather is beautiful I was one of the lucky few actually when my friend came here last year mm. it was raining terribly for oh. him but for us it's just beautiful right nice, nice, yeah. really I just nice. went to Netherlands also yesterday so yeah. it was just I'm coming from Netherlands oh okay yeah, nice, nice. I was also in Netherlands only okay so question for you what about the accommodation how did you get into the accommodation and uh, like is it expensive here what do you want to say like uh, anyone who would want to come to Germany yeah. what should they think about accommodation so you can get accommodation through multiple methods. Mm. Uh, the basic cheapest way would be an STW student working. Uh, mm. But for that, you have to apply six months or eight months earlier to get it up, uh, done. Mm. So for many, they get their application, they get their visa only after then they do they think about the accommodation on STW. So by then it's gone. Mm. So your next best option would be some hotels or hostels to be very frank. Mm. Uh, but they are on the pretty expensive side. Mm. And we have a system of warm rent and cold rent. So cold rent is basically a rent with just uh, for the house. While warm rent is additional stuffs are included. Uh, so your kitchen, heating, okay. electricity. Mm. Amenities basically, utilities and amenities, your furniture as well might be included. So in my case, I got my house through a website called VG Gesucht or mm. in English it would be WG Gesucht. Okay. And uh, you can get into the website, you will directly talk to the landlords or some type of realtors. Please be polite, being polite and uh, being repetitive in the task would get you the house mm. uh, for many they didn't do it they didn't follow the procedure they were not either polite or they were not uh, repetitive enough uh. you might feel like because they said no you just have to accept it no just kindly say to them that you can if there's any change please do inform me i can get uh. the house okay. so that is one procedure other than that i believe mm. there are some uh, hostels called poco and uh, some other dorms mm. i would say not not to prefer them because it's not that good mm prefer an STW or a VG. Hmm. VG is a bit on the expensive side, hmm. STW is on a bit on the cheaper side. Okay. So that is my whole take. I got my accommodation for 450 euros warm rent, but I'm living with three other people, so You're you should are splitting it? Yeah, we are splitting How it. How far? Um, it's five minutes away from me. That's nice. It. So I, it's very close for me. Nice, you can easily get that. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. And they uh, told you in a first come first basis, there's a student uh, dorm that is available, which is called Open Hoffley 2. So when uh, they told first come first basis, I filled up the form and I got it and mm. I just, I didn't know this much information that he told so. <laughs> then how much is here? Minus 460 uh, euros, uh, okay. that is 350 euros rent okay. and I'm paying 110 euros in utilities uh -huh. in advance uh -huh. and during March they do a summation of how much utilities I've spent and it's not more than 10 euros than what I've actually paid them. So there are chances that I might even get the refund mm. of that. So that happens in March usually, that settlement. Okay, they did see whether Zada or Lilia come Lilia Yeah, Zada Lilia, so 
मेरा जो सेक्रेटरी डिपॉजिट दिया था दे विल कट फ्रॉम दैट इफ नॉट देन दे विल रिटर्न बैक सम अमाउंट हाउ डू हाउ यू गाइस आर मैनेजिंग फूड टिल नाउ 3 डेज और 2 वीक्स सी uh 3 days from what i've found out there's good supermarkets for indian spices it's called sharona and there are three more mm. and uh in terms of other things like rice or muesli you can get mm. it in any other supermarket yeah. which i feel indian i think our bodies can accept that mm. so so yeah we have got getting used to of it now this yeah actually what yeah. about you so Food. i am that person mm. who my mother loves the most so <laughs> i got 30 kg of food from my home. Oh wow. <laughs> okay, uh so I don't require to buy much. I might buy your basics bread, milk and eggs. That okay. is the basic stuff I buy. I can survive on that, but other than that, just as he said, you can buy from Rave, Aldi, Media Markt and Netto. So Netto is the cheapest here in Avitiha hmm. for us. Otherwise you can go further uh for th- I believe there is a shop called Poco again mm, mm. so you can get it from there mm. and if you want basic stationeries or uh, like your comfort mm. or your basic blanket because of it's mm. winter right now yeah you can go for action okay and similarly good uh and what else I believe that's it I know uh, you must have come with your uh, blogged account so is there a special card you would suggest students ki from this the charges are lesser to take out the cash how do you manage all that so actually i would suggest so blocked account is uh, not something that the bank holds it mm. it is a third tertiary party that actually mm. third party that holds your account mm. it could be the bank as well but mm. what most of the students do is we keep it in a third party mm. now to unlock your blocked account you are supposed to get a bank account in arkin so the most uh, used bank account that i would suggest for students would be sparkas e arkin okay. why because i see the atm everywhere and i see their bank mm. uh, branch is almost everywhere in arkin yeah. and this is not just in arkin it is available in throughout in germany even mm. certain parts of europe as well mm. so sparkas e arkin i would suggest it strongly for students and mm. to unlock it you are supposed to show your visa mm. or uh, supposed to show your city registration i guess mm. which is a very fairly simple process to unblock your blocked account mm. and then you would get your uh monthly okay. stipend of how much ever okay. it is okay so you can so, yeah. take it out from there you can't take it out they'll provide it and they'll uh put if once you get a once you open your bank account you get a iban number the mm. international bank account yeah, number yeah swift code types yeah. yeah so yeah. once you get an international bank account number you provide it to the third party the third party then puts it into your bank and that is every month we don't we don't touch it we don't uh, increase it we don't decrease it it is not up to it's not in our control for the first year at least okay so yeah we can increase the amount of blocked account but the universe the country the university i guess huh. it requires a minimum amount that you're supposed to have in your blocked account which mm. is right now 11208 euros 11000 yeah. yeah euros want to talk about the bra houses over here yeah <laughs> the bra <laughs> house yeah please I mean I don't know much about it obviously I'm uh. obviously an outsider from Germany uh. but uh, there is a Kolsch beer that is really popular here mm-hmm. Cologne Cologne is the Cologne is the area that is, yeah, is close to Aachen right mm-hmm. so Kolsch beer is one of the famous beer that you find over here okay and there are two there are several types of Kolsch beer but the two famous ones oh my god Germans might kill me if I actually tell this but I don't know <laughs> right now I like uh, a beer which I just found out over here I think it is uh, Roosdorf I don't know if I'm get the, okay. getting the name okay. name right yeah. but apparently I've heard rumors that people who have Roosdorf uh, Kolschbier and people who have Gaffel Kolschbier they literally fight each other oh so, why so there's that much passion to beer they do. yeah oh. so if you say that I like uh, that Roosdorf beer mm-hmm. and uh, he likes Kolschbier they're like no your beer sucks mm-hmm. ours is better let's fight <laughs> that's oh. basically the issue behind it's it so much of like uh, yeah, passion about towards it. It. yeah there's actually purity laws in beer so Oh. there's actual government specular like uh, regulations oh, over this okay. so one thing that got a shock culture shock you got here culture shock would be uh the yeah, precision i feel <laughs> i'm sorry yeah you want to go first yeah Culture I would shock. say uh, be quiet at night because I was told by my landlady yesterday only, like you can't shout after ten. Be be silent. You can't even be loud. You can't be loud. You can't shout. You can't laugh. Be quiet in your room. Do your own stuff. Be silent. That's the yeah. best policy that you have to follow. 
uh wake up early that's one more thing i find yeah. very because if you don't wake up early you will wake up really late and the things won't be done mm. sundays are off sundays are off here i don't know why sundays so are off so it's good right Sundays are off. Every shop is closed. Oh, Every Sundays shop is, is clo- closed. Closed. Okay. So we we can't buy anything. If you want to buy anything, buy it on a Saturday. And Saturdays are sometimes half day for many of the shops. Hmm. So buy it early. Store oh. it for Sunday. Whatever you want: beer, booze, chicken, or any vegetable, anything. Okay. So, so stack is- up on stack up on Saturday. Enjoy on Sundays. Okay. So they po- follow the policy of Sunday being the day of the rest. Rest. So, aram hmm. karo. आराम करो। फाइन एनी कल्चर शॉक टू बी ऑन कुछ तो लगा होगा कि अरे यहाँ पे ऐसा होता है हमारे यहाँ तो ऐसा होता है बिल्ट लाइक दिस वेन आई वॉज एट होम एज वेल वेक अप अर्ली गोट स्लीप अर्ली दो क्रॉसिंग द रोड crossing the road as well it's a necessity that is required right like following no, the rules in, is somewhat in india fun. you know you cross road uh, there's That's no true. proper thing there's no proper thing ah. so here it's more like a slow life yeah. that rather than in india where it's all just we want to cross Very the road cross fast, now fast, fast, yeah ha, over here it's like no let's wait let's walk 20 feet there there's a mm. signal there let us cross in the zebra crossing there's a simplicity as well as a complexity in that system which is just what do you yeah, say yeah you're right so well said there's like um, yeah Okay, mm. as in short, I could say it like that. Mm. So there would be like certain rules like that. But once you just follow their system, your mm. life just gets much easier. It, it makes it easier. It also. makes it easier. You can mm. focus on things that are actually yeah. important, like taking a rest, yeah. enjoying a walk, going yeah. on a hike, or maybe yeah. even your work that you like to do. Yeah. So things like that, they focus on that more than uh, other <sighs> things. Yeah. Okay, I think good enough information. Yeah. What do you want to do in future? Like, where do you see yourself? That I'm still finding out, actually. Okay. So I've got into the field of computational mechanics. I am not sure if I tell the terms. It might be very technical. For instance, fluid structure interaction, or something like uh, fracture mechanics or material modeling. These are the type of things that I'm all, all trying to discover over here. So nice. Let me see. Whatever Good I like. Good to know. Let what about you? What do you want to do? Where do you, do you see yourself? I'm I'm similarly a geek as him. So, mm. but. my prospects would be in the field of additive manufacturing or 3d modeling or 3d okay. printing that is okay. what the common term is uh-huh. uh with simulations for wire arc additive manufacturing that was one of my projects in my bachelor's okay. i'm going to continue with uh, that so it's basically metal additive manufacturing that's the new trend and i believe it will take up more prospects into the future because production has to be made faster the research part of it as i was in the industry i knew so it can be reduced from an year to basically a month or two so that is my goal right now okay. last question for yeah. both of you yeah why not india why not india